author of Laugh with the Moon. Mani is a word that the people in Malawi, Africa, speak. It means hello in the language Chichewa, which is one of their main languages other than English. I'm happy to be with you today to answer some questions about my book. Anyway, when I visited schools in the bush, I was amazed by how the students were learning, not with the kind of materials that we have in our schools, like computers or even pencils and pens. Can you imagine learning to write letters without paper? and a pencil? They would draw their letters in the dirt with a stick. And what about math? No flashcards. Instead, they would use rocks. Three plus four is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was really impressed with the creativity that the teachers and the students showed. I really wanted to write a story that's set in the Malawian bush because I wanted to share with all of you the amazing ways that teachers and students there are innovating with the materials they find in the environment. This toy was made by a child in Malawi. It shows a scene from the bush. See the women? They're gathering maize, which is corn, and they're chopping it and sifting it. When I move the wagon, the ladies move around. Pretty cool, huh? I wanted to be an author so badly ever since fourth grade when my teacher, Mary Marsha Williams Lord, assigned us to write a book of poetry. This is one of the poems that I wrote called Copycat. I hate math if you hate math. If you don't, I won't. I like art if you like art. If you don't, I won't. They call me the copycat. What do you think of that? I think they're wrong if you do. If you don't, I won't. Ever since I wrote that poem and this book of poetry, I caught the writing bug, and I can't get rid of it. I love writing stories that make people think. The best piece of advice I ever got about writing was actually about rewriting or revision, which means the ability to look at your written work as if you've never seen it before and say, what's good here? What could be better? That's when the magic happens. I love revising. I revised Laugh with the Moon at least 10 times. Through a lot of the story, Claire feels different and even sometimes left out. I can relate to how Claire was feeling. I've felt like that a lot of times. I think anyone who tells you they've never felt left out or different from everybody else isn't telling you the truth. When I was in fifth grade, my pin straight hair suddenly popped out like an umbrella. It started calling me Umbrella Head, and it really hurt my feelings. Eventually, those kids grew up, and now I use that experience to draw from when I write. That's an excellent question, but guess what? I'm not giving you the answer. You're going to have to figure out that one for yourself. It's been nice talking to you today, and I really hope you enjoy my book, Laugh with the Moon.